uh, welcome to round two of the SA uh, Football uh, uh, Weekly Roundup at Portland Hotel here. Got myself, Brad Dittmar from Portland Footy Club and uh, my mate Heath Pocock from Port District uh, taking you through it this week. Uh, we're going to start with Div 7. Um, neither of us have played Div 7 footy for, for quite a while. Heath, Heath never. Um, so, see how we go. Um, we'll take us through the results. Yeah, so first game we've got T Gully. 29 goals 20, 194 to Flinders Uni, 1 goal 1, 7. Uh, fair touch up there. Uh, Teacher Gully though, very strong in all grades and their C and D grade obviously in Div 7 compared to other C grade comps. Yeah. Uh, Flinders Uni I guess just hanging on, they're doing well to, to keep a couple of sides on the park, still these days I think, so um, yeah, I guess a lot of people saw that result probably coming, but uh, I guess the crowds would probably like to bring in a bit more, more uh, closer, a bit more of a respectable score on than that. Yeah, before, than I thought. So goal kickers for Tisha Gully, uh, Formosa with 10 and Wicks with 5. I think both have played high grades in recent years. Uh, Daniels with 5 as well. Uh, best players were forward, Wicks, Formosa, all the goal kickers are in there. Might move to the second game now. It was uh, Marion, 13 goals, 15, 93. The Golden Grove, 7 goals, 10, 52. It looks like Marion are enjoying their uh, first couple of weeks in the Amateur Footy League. Um, obviously moving from uh, Southern Footy League, haven't had many wins the last couple of years, but uh, yeah, getting over the Golden Grove C grade, I guess everyone expected them to win that. Um, yeah, I guess for me, I'd probably expect Marion to be around the mark coming into the year. Um, so yeah, Golden Grove, I'm not sure. I think it's probably their first time in Div 7, so they're probably just finding their feet a little bit against A grade sides. Goal kickers for Golden Grove were Wilson with two, Green, Rouse, Ashcroft, and uh, uh, Sajin with one. Best players were Darwin, Brooke, Brooke and Guzzle. Uh, Marion goal kickers, Wade with three, O'Day with two, McBride two, Saunders two, McCullum two, Wilbur and Watts with singles. The best players were Saunders, McBride and Wade. Uh, the uh, the next one, uh, Houghton, uh, 10-1, 61, just going down to uh, Old SB Lonsdale at home. Uh, so Houghton, they're straight kicking um, somehow in the weather on the weekend. Uh, 10 goals, 1, keeping them in that one. Um, I'll move forums a little bit uh, to get a bit of uh, news about this one. Um, apparently Houghton had another kick after the siren to, to uh, win this game, but just falling short. Um, according to the, the sources on the uh, forum uh, that we last week, you might not have seen um, Heath, but uh, out and won last week with the kick after the siren. I think it was their first win in about bloody two years, so um, good couple of weeks for them uh, starting off. But uh, OSB, long uh, road trip from home, uh, would have been pretty happy taking the points home from there, I would have thought. Um, who were the uh, best players? Yeah. Uh, best players for Houghton were Davis, Anderson, Curry and McMurtry. Uh, and for OSB, best players were McNamara, Cooper and Loveridge. Yeah, so OSB, I guess the uh, probably the favourite to take out the flag at this stage. Um, Houghton coming down from Div 6, they're always pretty strong in Div 7, so I'm sure they'll be uh, tough to beat moving forward this year uh, at home. Uh, so, next game is Mitchell Parker at home to St Paul's. Uh, Mitchell Park, 3 goals, 6 24 to St Paul's, 15 14 104. Bit of a touch up there. Uh, with only the three goal kickers for Mitchell Park. Um, their best players were Logan, Scott, Fechner, Hartman, and Clark. Yes. Yeah, I don't know a huge amount uh, about these sides. I think St Paul's are a relatively new side, but obviously the older form had merged with more some lakes, and uh, that'd be around a couple of years now. Um, but yeah, pretty, pretty good win there against Mitchell Park, who was struggling this year. Um, it's a bit sad to see. I think they lost their coach from last year. It's moved on to uh, coaching at Eagles pretty far. Um, seems like they've had a mass exodus and just struggling to compete with like, Marion around there. They lost a bit of their older crew, so um, tough times for them. Hopefully, you know, fingers crossed they can, they can pick up, maybe pick up a few players throughout the year and survive uh, moving through, through uh, this year. And last game for Div 7 was uh, Central United, 8 goals 11 59, defeated Mawson Lakes 8 5 53. Uh, so, close game there. Central United goal kickers were Gatto with 4, Moore with 2, and uh, Woodward and Porter with the singles. Best players were Keane, Grave, and Moore. Uh, goal kickers for Mawson Lakes were King with 4, Salter, Jonkin, Novosil, and Hung with 1. 
best players were Stanley, McMillan and Van der Brink. A pretty close game there. I guess the units are uh, pretty well up and about um, this year from all they hear, so Mawson Lakes would be relatively happy with that, uh, playing away from home uh, this week. Um, yeah, let's we'll have a look at the ladder um, after two rounds. We've got uh, Teacher Gully sitting on top, a healthy percentage after uh, playing the Crabs this week. Marion second, um, haven't been that high on the ladder for a while than I thought, but uh, sitting pretty healthy up top there with OSB um, just sitting on the uh, third. Uh, uh, Morton Lakes fourth uh, and St Paul's Old Scholars rounding out to the uh, five. Um, then we've got Houghton six, potentially nine seventh. Uh, Golden Grove um, eighth, obviously their C grade. Uh, Mitchell Park and Flinders Uni sort of struggling uh, 9 and 10 there. Um, so, so pretty clear to see there might be a few standout teams in Div 7 with a fair bit of a gap to the bottom teams yeah, towards the bottom of the, the ladder. Yeah, definitely. Um, right, let's see what we've got coming up this week. We've got Houghton playing uh, Central United. Um, who's your tip uh, for that one? Houghton at home, always quite tough. Yeah, I reckon so I might. Probably Houghton. Yeah, tip Houghton oh. there. Uh, OSB uh, play Mitchell Park with a short, uh, short of distance. Oh, they're obviously at home, OSB, after last week. Mitchell Park travelling up the hill there. Um, I might tip OSB there, so it'll be a big one for yep. them, I reckon. Agreed. Uh, Teacher Gully, uh, Morton Lakes. Uh, Teacher Gully at home for me. Yep. Pretty strong, I'll, I'll uh, stick with them. A bit of confidence after last week. Uh, St Paul's Old Scholars versus Golden Grove. Uh, I'm not really sure on that one. That one with you. I'll, uh, I'll tip St Paul's also <laughs> come off the win. Uh, but Golden Grove, I reckon they'll go all right this year. Um, they're a pretty strong club. A grade and Div 2 this year for the first time, uh, maybe ever, I reckon. So uh, I'm sure they'll uh, come with this. Uh, and I'll uh, go and marry over Flinders Union, I reckon. Uh,